Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, the 15th of March, 2023. Um, I'm going to, I'm over at Stanley Park. Let me turn you around while I just do this little intro. You can have a little look what we're looking at. I'm over in Stanley Park to do my next weekly video of the Anfield Road Stand. It's my midweek one, so just a, a little reminder. I'll tell you what, looks like the scaffolding's gone from the middle. We'll have a good look at that. Um, it's looking great. So, little reminder or for a uh, little explanation for all, any, any new watchers, my midweek video, this one, is where I get up in the air and address some questions stroke comments that, that you guys have been good enough to, to put to me from my weekend video. And then my weekend one is where I do a full fly around with some music. So, yeah, it's, it's early in the morning, it's about 9.30. I'm going to get up in the air now, cover some questions and comments, have a chat about it. Let's get up there. Okay guys, so here we go, we're going to go straight up in the air, get up to about 50 metres or so and then I'll approach the, um, approach the ground as I bring up some of your questions and comments. Let's have a look, where are we? Okay, so let's start going towards it. First up, I have a GD who says, did you notice, wait there, I'm just going toward it, so, there, let's stop there a second. GD says, did you notice the lift mast climber being installed at the main stand end? This is for a platform working area, which the team can work on safely at height. I think this will be used for curtain wall installation, Nick. So what's that? The the lift mast climber lift mast climber uh, no I didn't because I, <laughs> I don't know what it is um, what's a lift mast climber is it is it literally what it as it sounds GD is it is it a is it a lift um, give me one second let, let me go in a a bit closer here and then I'll, I'll have a zoom so you've said at this end Oh yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there, it is, it literally is a lift, yeah, there, GD, superb spot, superb, so yeah, it's the, like got the orange cage at the bottom and you said for the curtain walling, um, which, which it will be, I've been informed that, that that is the next, the next step that's going on now, um, and that's why they've removed the scaffolding as well, that's a great spot, GD, I didn't see that at all, um, did many, many of you actually spot that? Yeah, they're actually, looks like they're working on it now. So it's not, doesn't look like it's quite ready, but they are working on that. GD, superb, superb spot, well done. Um, what I'll do as well, I'm just going to share some pictures. So there is one, if, well, there's not, there's not one that, see across there, they're working slightly differently. They're using like the, um, Oh, what are they called? It's not a, it's not a cherry picker, that is it? But don't know what they're called. What they're working on? I'll move around there. But yeah, I'll put a picture up now. Um, a shot I've been I've been sent there, uh, which which shows them working on that that back bit with no uh, none of the um, scaffolding in the middle. The scaffolding has been moved to the the end sections, as you can see. In fact, I'll tell you what. And there's another picture there. By the way, there's another picture showing it, um, which which have been sent. Okay. Um, tell you what I'll do. I'll move. I'll move round to that um, to that bit now. But GD, I've got to say that that was a great spot. That I didn't didn't see that myself. So yeah, that's for the curtain wall. And let let's take a let's take a move round to to the back to to have a look at like what of like the shots from what where I've just shown. Do you know what? I had a comment. Well, it's not one that I've that I've shared. I noticed I had a comment this week. Somebody had said, um, somebody commented saying, uh, "Great videos, Nick. Can you get closer?" Um, I I do get. I literally get kind of as as close as a as I can really. You know, maintaining the safe distances. Guys, I will use my zoom and that. Here you go. See them working away on that middle bit there. Looking good with the curtain wall and everything, isn't it? 
Um, so let's let's while I'm here, let's move on to a, another one. Again, I've got to say, G GD, that was a great spot on that on that end. Wonder if there's one round round the other end. We'll we'll go and take a look in a minute. Uh, we'll just watch these for a bit while I move on to as if who said. Great video as always. Really fascinating to see all the different angles. Thanks, mate. Um, question for you, Nick. Have FSG missed a trick by not filling in the corner between the main stand and Elfield Road end? Similar to, to Newcastle St. James's Park. Seems like the corner between the two stands has a lot of space. That could have been used for the extra seats. Yeah. Um, maybe, mate. I think, I think as if. So what you're referring to here is, is over here. So you're saying could they have joined that corner, which would have given a lot more seats and had like a, had that like, like kind of um, almost like more bowl shape um, stadium. I don't know. That, I think that would have been. I think the work on that would have been massive. They, they probably could have. I think. Do you know what? I'm sure, guys. Can somebody let me know? I'm sure there's a reason for this. You know, I don't know if it's because a lot of the support and structure is on the corners. Or something like that. They've got the car park there as well, but I'm sure you know they could have, they could have done without that or done something else. But I think it might be something like there's, there's um, a lot of the support and structure as if is, is like, you know, on the the sides. Or oh, something like that. I'm sure this has been this has been raised, I'm going off memory. But as if look, yeah doing lots of work up there aren't they see as if yeah look if it was you know if it was doable they could have they could have definitely got you know a lot more seats in there and as i've said before you know liverpool could do all four stands like this in all four corners and they'd still they'd still fill it i'm just popping around this end to see um if they're doing a lift this end as well no not yet not yet it doesn't look like we'll stop there but yeah, does anybody know anything about that? For for as if about that corner, I'm sure it rings a bell. That that question, I think, I think it's been addressed before, even if not by me, but by by um, by others maybe, or even by Liverpool when when it's been asked. But somebody, uh, let us know. Let us know if you've got any any info on that, please, guys. Um, I'm going to move on to Keith Douglas, who says, "Quick question. Oh, sorry, great video again. I won't miss that bit. Thanks very much, Keith." Um, quick question. Have you heard that they are going to leave the Sir Kenny Dalglish roof section until last so they can remove the old roof through the large side gap? Meaning they don't have to put skips on the pitch. That may damage the pitch. No, Keith. Absolutely not. So again, we're this 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 section here where we're just missing a, a bit of the the roof. I'll tell you what. Look, look. They've done um, what everybody's been asking about. They've completed the, uh, the terrace in, looks like. seats haven't they that's been missing for ages and people have been mentioning that and, and quite concerned about it so the terrace I'm, I'm looking at is there so no do i think they're they're leaving part of this roof out to get to get some of the bits out no definitely not keep it there it wouldn't fit would it but no they've they've always planned to take to take um all the all the to be um what i'm looking for, look for the machinery and that that they need onto the pitch let's have a circle round and go over this way roof looks great doesn't it yeah so Keith they've always had it planned to, to take it over to, to put it onto the pitch I'm um, just losing a bit of signal let me get higher so no I, I haven't heard that they've they've changed those plans at all and that they'll be looking to try and carry things in and out of uh of that corner in fact I, i'm gonna i haven't heard it keith and I, i'm gonna go out on the limb and say 100 percent no no i can't see them doing that at all at all it's it's a good question though it's a good question but i haven't heard it and i just can't can't see it myself anybody else heard anything like that but as far as i know keith it's always plans to um for them to go onto the pitch with everything they need i don't think skips is the problem as well they're going to be they're going to be taking like massive massive um cranes and in, in machines on so i don't think skips would would be an issue when they're when you know some of the 
some of the things that are actually going to be taken on to, to take that take that stand down. Uh, that roof, sorry, that roof down. So I, I just don't think skips will be an issue. Um, okay, uh, great, thanks for your comment though, Keith. Uh, let's move on to Great Western, who says, the back corner on the angle, Kenny Dog Leash End, with vertical fixings that you showed last week, is for the club emblem to be fixed to with vertical windows on either side. Right, okay, so Great Western. I'm gonna have to go back around this way, aren't I? Let's have a look. So we're, we're, it's coming into into view now. So here we it, we're coming around the the corner. I'm going to drop lower now because I'm coming back into a a, a really good signal area because it's almost like right above me almost. So the the bit you're referring to, what I said in my video because a, a couple of people said about uh, window didn't know if it was a window it is that white bit there that we can see somebody mentioned window so so you're saying that's going to have the emblem on it is it um great western that that's going to have the liverpool emblem the crest and then the uh some windows either side good good info mate good knowledge appreciate that really do that like I say that's uh, great knowledge so that's what that's there for that's why they're getting that in there I didn't know that um, it, are they doing the same on the other oh yeah you have said um, oh no you've said to fix vertical windows on either side of that are they doing the same the, the other end at the main stand end you know Great Western or does anybody else know good info that that's a sort of a uh, sort of info that I like I like all the info guys but yeah that's, that's a good one that thanks very much Great Western right um, going to move on um, there's okay there's something I I want to address so people said about the handrails and I tried to get um, a couple of pictures in but I couldn't get low enough uh, people have said that they'd fitted the handrails so here's um, a, here's a picture somebody sent me a picture from inside so here's the handrails from inside from a picture I was sent um, as you guys know I'm lucky to get some pictures and that sent to me from from people so there's a picture of the handrails they are called the, these ones are actually called P rails uh, which is you know it's quite obvious as to why isn't it um, so yeah they they're called P rails and they are up and ready I'm gonna move around the side now I couldn't get like I said didn't I, I couldn't get my drone kind of low enough inside because of signal but I was lucky enough to get a picture sent to me. So there's there's the, the handrails called P rails. Um, and what I I'm moving around the back here. What I will also say, guys, is that Liverpool have shared and, and somebody I've had a message from somebody, um, one of my kind of contacts, which I really appreciate. I won't give their details. But I had a message just the other day saying, remember Nick. Remember, Nick, um, only 22 weeks until complete, and it is still on time. Okay, so anybody wondering about that? I think Liverpool have also confirmed that, haven't they, recently, guys? Still on time. So do you know what? We're going to be seeing loads of this this curtain wall and going round, um, and the glass and everything. Going up, the, I believe the brickwork in the middle there, where they've removed the scaffolding, um, the brickwork there is complete in the middle. So, so yeah, guys, looking, looking good, isn't it? And and a big one is still on time. Is is some great um, info for all you Reds because it's been it's been a concern, hasn't it, since it was reported that it's potentially four weeks behind. But yeah, looking still on time. So, guys, um, I have just one more, um, one more to share with you that I need to find. Here now, there is a is a comment that's that's been made by Wayne Baker, who said, "Love your vids, Nick. I would love to see you do a collab vid with some of the other drone pilots, like uh, like the stadium, Paul Frost and Casey Imageworks, for example. That would be super interesting. Keep up the good work, fella. Anybody else think that? I've got I'm in a um, a WhatsApp group with with those guys, uh, Paul and Casey. So if that's in, if that would be of interest to to people." 
um, let me know and I'll, I'll definitely try and sort that out guys I think it might be good um, whether we whether we want to sit down and chat about about our thoughts and our our experiences of doing the, the flights or whether we we came and done something on site I don't know but uh, yeah let me know let us let us know guys and I'll definitely see if I can sort that out if, if you think that'll be of interest other than that guys I'm gonna get the drone down finish up there thank you okay guys so there you go that was my midweek video um, of the Anfield Road stand developments uh, at Anfield Stadium a um, couple of good good little points in in comments there the the one um, who did GD I think was it who'd, no, who'd noticed that that lift um, being being installed well, that was a great spot enjoyed that one GD well done um, but yeah there was a couple of good ones there the info about the, uh, the the Liverpool crest as well I wonder if that's going on on either side is it going on the uh, the main stand end as well um, <clears throat> and yeah a comment at the end about a potential collab with Casey Imageworks and Paul Frost do you know what I'll um, I'll hit them up and see if we can sort that out, if that'll be of interest to, to everybody. So so definitely uh, let us know, please. Um, other than that, Liverpool have got, what have you got? Real Madrid away tonight. It's a tough one, isn't it? But fingers crossed for you, um, Reds. I know I know. Um, a couple of my mates are going over, went yesterday. Um, so yeah, good good luck to you. Um, I hope you just can, can do it. And do you know what? I know like all my Liverpool fan mates have basically said it's, it's going to be so, so hard going to... To the Bernabeu and trying trying to uh, overturn that. Do you know what I've said to them? If anyone, if any team can do it, then Liverpool can do it. Um, it's just what you do uh, sometimes, isn't it? So so good luck to you. Um, other than that, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, please do that. Any comments down below? If you want to drop me a direct email, you can do so here for any of my branded clothing or anything like that. Because I know people like to pick up their the hats and hoodies. You can get them there. Um, other than that guys I'll be back here at the weekend um, to do my full circular with, with some nice music and uh, my my um, football show is back this week I've got a I've got I've got an Everton fan coming on but um, main reason he's on he's really involved in grassroots football um, and set us up set up um, a brand new club and is looking at um, a really good development with the FA so we're gonna have a good talk about that okay so so please uh, tune into that on Friday um, around tea time. Other than that, guys, take care. Bye now.